Hey everybody, this is Phil with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Uh, we've opened up the pool and Kathy said she's going to go out to the pool. So let's see what she's up to. Uh, wait a minute now. Where is she? She said she was going to be in the pool. What the heck's going on here? Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, there she is. <laughs> hey everybody. Guess what? I'm in the pool. Only it's my new painting pool. It's go big or go home. And once I get this baby ready, we're gonna have some fun. So stay tuned. See you later. Bye. Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm going to do uh, my drizzle again. But this time I just got these in the mail and I'm going to use all of the new Arteza metallic colors. This is out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to try all of them and show you how they're going to look. I don't even know how they're gonna look. So um, we're in this together because it might turn out, it might not turn out, I don't know. But this is the Pearl Marmalade, and I love orange marmalade, so I bet that's going to be yummo. I bet. Gold. This is the plain gold. Gold is gold. Autumn Leaf. I'm doing a pigment to add some depth to it. This is the Arteza Aztec Gold, which is really close to just the regular gold, if you ask me. And then this is the Bronze. And this is the Pearl Deep Brown. Um, I might just add a, a tad of that because I'm not sure. I, I don't want to get mud. So um, we're going to see how that goes. And of course, Phil can tell you what my cell activator is. Lamp black. Yeah, baby. You got it. <laughs> so I already uh, flooded my canvas, but I had some people ask me how I keep my canvas on. Well... This is the way to do it. I just rip off a piece of my frog tape, make it as a double sticker, and as you can see it, it I put it right under each one okay. of my sticks. Yeah, that works like a, it works like a charm because it holds it uh, well enough so it doesn't fly <laughs> off, but if you have to kind of take it off and do some tipping, it, uh, it releases reasonably well. So that works out real good. Yeah, so, and to spread my paint, I always use my cake frosting, whatever, whatever it is, because- You I certainly don't, don't use it to frost cakes, I know that. No, no, I don't bake cakes. I'm not much of a baker. I can take that or leave it. Cooking, oh yeah, baby. Baking, no thank you. And what's really kind of sad here, when we lived in Illinois, we had uh, a bakery, and it was on Riverside Drive, actually the street that I grew up on, and the bakery is still in business. And like I said, you know, I was really young, you know, like, pff, I walked to the bakery because it wasn't scary or anything, and it actually got recognized as um, the best bakery in... Um, like one of the best bakeries around. And it it's phenomenal. And that is really one thing I really, really miss is the Riverside Bakery. There, everything in their bake shop was, oh. Uh, well, I, have, I haven't gone into a bakery where I haven't <laughs> started uh, salivating. So I know that was a very good bakery. I went there as a kid too. I mean, that's very the best bakery. bakery. It's just a little hole in the wall, but it's uh, very good. And they usually were out of stuff oh, yeah. pretty early in the day. So Well, they opened at 4 in the morning. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, if you got there by 10, and their uh, pecan caramel coffee cake, oh, it was to die for. Phil will tell you. Oh, it was so el yummo. And yeah, then, I, I came close to death a few times eating that. And then, you know, as... Uh, when Phil and I got married, my kids, our kids would, you know, stay down at my mom and dad's and they would 
their treat on the weekend was walking to Riverside Bakery and getting their brownies and their little smiley face cookies, which I didn't really like the smiley face cookies because they were kind of like really sweet. But you know how kids are. They love that stuff. So this is my, um, what is this? This is my pigment, That's autumn, which is the autumn leaf. Autumn leaf. I already put my um, gold on there and my Arteza pearl. Which, and this is the Aztec gold. Yeah, which, okay. I mean, if you look, it's like the same it's thing. It's pretty close, but that's okay. It's a little bit different, slightly different. So that's maybe different, it'll... all right. I mean, there's not much of a contrast. Like this one, this is... Uh... This is that um, bronze. bronze. Now, this has a little bit of a contrast, but as you can see, it's... That's why I'm, I'm really... Take a, I'm going to take a wild guess. I think this uh, painting is going to be brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be something, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to add a tad of this in by... Oh. Well, I think it's a good idea. You need some... Contrast and stuff. It's kind of like gray. It doesn't yeah, it's, look it's, like it's a, brown it's, to it's me. It's a grayish brown or something. Huh? Well, yeah, well yeah. okay, I'm going to put a little bit more of this in saying what happens. Oh my God. I don't know. I'm hoping that my black cell activator is going to perform magic. Me too, because I think this might need a little magic. I think you're right, Phil. Okay, people. <clears throat> oh, I have to clear my throat. My allergies are so bad. Phil can tell you the verde trees here are in full bloom, and oh man, it's really something. Okay. I'm going to start at the outer edge. Do a swirly thingy. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Phil? It's hard to tell. I'll tell you, when you do these, you wonder how in the world is this going to look decent? And then when you're done, it seems to all come together. So I don't know. I'm, I don't know either. I, I love watching this stuff because I'm, I, I get amazed at how the different techniques you use come together and produce a an amazing yeah pretty cool a pretty cool creation uh, creation yes actually um i even hate to admit this again i like the black cell activator you're running through that really i hate to say it because i don't want to encourage you to keep using <laughs> <laughs> But you know what's so funny about that? What? It doesn't matter what you say because I'm going to keep using yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, you have your favorite. My, my I have my favorite. <laughs> my unsolicited advice uh, is about worth is about as much as I charge for it, which is nothing. <laughs> I don't think anybody would pay for it anyway, seriously. Well, that's, that's true. Well, there, I mean, some people might. Wow. I actually even like these things when you're doing this to it. You do? Yes. Well, at least I'm doing something right that you like, Phil. I like everything. I just give you a hard time. Yeah, that you do. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is one more of these swipes down here. What are you thinking of doing that? Down here. Okay. And then I'm going to get rid of that black in there because I'm going to bring that over here. OK. 
Okay. Do you think you need anything uh, a little closer to this corner? Um, possibly. I mean, I don't want you to overdo what you want to do. Yeah, I don't that, want to overdo it. Because I think that will... No, I think I'm just going to do this. Yeah, maybe it'll... There we go. And I might just do it over here. Okay. And I think I'm just about done with that. Mm-hmm. We're going to let this puppy rip and see what happens. It says even, it's even cool the way you drag through it and create the different mixing of colors. It might be pretty. I don't know. We're going to see, though, aren't I'm we? I'm hoping, yes. You ready, Phil? I'm ready. Stand back, baby. Okay. Oh, look at that paint flying off, Phil. Holy camoli. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we live together, right? I don't even have to spin it again. No. One spin. No. I think that. A little spin will do you. That's true. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty. This is really, really pretty. I really like this combination. I, I do too, and I, and I like how you got so many different shades of the, you know, some browns and golds and beige, not beige, but like a, what's that? It's kind of like stuff? a pink, it's copper. Co oh yeah, copper, yeah. The copper lightened up. Because it's the, um, Marmalade. Oh, the, I told oh, you it's marmalade. my orange marmalade. I love. Wow, that that is beautiful. This turned out much better than what I expected because I didn't. I really didn't think I was going to like it because the colors are so similar. Right. But you know what's really funny? Okay, I did put that deep uh, pearl brown, and it's kind of like a gray. Oh yeah. Uh, pearl. Yeah. It's they very pretty. Nice, it really uh, added to yes. it. I really like this. I'm excited that I did this, and I really didn't even want to do it. See, you never know what you're going to get. It's like picking out a chocolate, I said, in a box, putting it in your mouth, and you go, oh, my God, this is so good. Well, my problem is I pick out the chocolate, bite into it, and it has a nut in there, and I break my tooth. Well, yeah, that's That's, that's my luck. That is true. That is true. So, okay, everybody, if you like this combination, give me a thumbs up, share it, um, Please subscribe to our channel. I can't say enough for the people that have subscribed to us. We love all of you. Please, please join our family. We have so much fun. And wait until you see what's coming next. Stay tuned. Bye.